Hello, my name is Olivia Liebing, and this is Insider Travel Report. Today I'm here with Amelie Bruhard, the Vice President of Marketing and Sales of North America and U.S. Sales at Club Med. Emily, it's great to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for having us, having Insider Travel Report here. We are actually some of the first guests the resort has ever seen uh, because this is the first Club Med open in Canada, and it actually opened on December 3rd, 2021. So guests are already trickling in from all around the world. I'm lucky to be one of the first. I'm having a blast on the slopes and, you know, in the hot tub and trying all the delicious food. So I already know this is going to be such a wonderful addition to the to uh, Club Med's properties. And I'm excited to hear a little bit about it. So if I may, I'm going to ask you a few questions for our audience. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So I guess starting with that, this is Club Med's first resort in Canada. How was the decision made to come to Canada? Well, it was very natural for us to come to Canada because we have a, um, a very extensive uh, history with the Canada clientele. Uh, we are operating a, an office, a commercial office in uh, Montreal uh, since uh, 1970. Uh, and we have also a, a very good base of Canadian clientele who go to our resorts all over the world. So it's not new that we are working with Canada and that we have these ties with the, the Canadian uh, clientele. Uh, also, uh, we hire uh, every year uh, more than 200 and 300 uh, Canadian GOs, uh, mm. our staff. Okay. Uh, Canadians are very um, appreciated mm. uh, by their uh, for their warmth and their uh, quality of service and their bilingualism as well, which mm. uh, works very well with our very multicultural clientele. So um, it felt very uh, natural for us to choose Canada. And we actually uh, chose uh, this very unique site in Charlevoix uh, because of the cultural aspect of that region. Uh, first, because of the unicity of uh, this uh, beautiful landscape overlooking the Saint Laurent River. Uh, the views are just amazing. Uh, you can feel that in everywhere you are in the resort. You can see how beautiful the landscape is with that view. Um, and uh, the culture is very rich. Uh, mm -hmm. Charlevoix is uh, very known for their terroir, their uh, gastronomy. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so much to see. We are just one hour and 15 minutes away from Quebec City, which is a UNESCO heritage site. Uh, there's so much to do, uh, so uh, it felt very natural for us to be in that in that site because we always look at Clamed to pioneer new destinations. So we always want to be the first. Mm -hmm. uh, there is uh, not other. There is no other hotels around her around mm -hmm. us here. So uh, we are really uh, bringing something very new uh, in this uh, beautiful Charlevoix region. Yes, and, I, and I've already noticed, I mean, of course the nature is, is striking itself, but uh, the fact that this morning I had maple syrup on top of snow, <laughs> it, it really, I really feel like I'm in Canada too, which is, which is so cool. You really incorporate the destination. Um, so kind of speaking to your brand, this is, um, what would you say are some similarities between Club Med Quebec and the other brand properties? So uh, we've been in the ski business for many years. Uh, from, from the 1965, we opened a ski resort uh, in the Alps in France. Uh, now we operate more than 20 resorts of uh, all-inclusive ski worldwide in the Alps, but also we have several resorts in China, in Japan. Uh, so we are really the leader uh, of ski all-inclusive resorts worldwide. And it felt very really natural for us to bring back this model in North America. Um, so we have this know-how. We know how to operate and how to build ski all-inclusive resorts. Uh, however, uh, of course, this resort in Charlevoix uh, has also a very unique feel uh, because uh, the experience is uh, very similar to what we have in our other, in our other all-inclusive ski resorts in the Alps, it's ski, in ski art, you have this um, experience of uh, everything is seamless, you know, uh, from uh, from when you arrive to, uh, to when you depart, you have a very seamless experience, ski in, ski out, everything is packaged, you have the ski lift package, the ski lift is included in your package, the ski lessons uh, also uh, from four years old mm. uh, and for adults. 
models, but it's an incredible value. Uh, so we are bringing this model, but we are adapting it to the local culture as well. So everything in your experience in Club at Quebec Charlevoix will be also very much adapted to the local culture. Uh, you just mentioned the food and beverage, <laughs> which is a very good aspect of it. Uh, we also have, we also felt it was important for us to tailor this uh, resort uh, to have a little bit more uh, adaptation to the non-skiers as well. Mm -hmm. uh, why? Because in Canada, uh, you can have some very cold days. Uh, you can also have, uh, well, in the winter, the, the, the days are a little bit shorter, mm -hmm. huh? the, the, the night rise uh, quicker. Uh, so we felt we also needed to have very comprehensive indoors offer of activities. Mm -hmm. uh, so for example, we have a, we have a big pool, uh, we have the gym, we have a very uh, comprehensive yoga and wellness offer, more than 35 hours of uh, wellness, yoga, uh, meditation uh, classes are offered. We have a circus activity as mm -hmm. well. It's the mm -hmm. first mountain resort where we have a circus activity. Ski and circus. <laughs> exactly. So, I mean, I, I could go over and over, but we have a, a very comprehensive offer for, uh, for non-skiers as well, uh, because we felt it was important for this resort particularly uh, to offer uh, different uh, experiences. Absolutely. And um, I've, I was just on a gastronomy walk through nature and, uh, you know, you really get to experience not only how stunning these surroundings are and, you know, I really feel like we're isolated, but you're also really seeing a unique facet of the Quebecois culture. So yeah. super, super cool. Okay, so you talked a little bit about kind of the, the major, you know, similarities. What would be some, some of the differences between Club Med Quebec and other Club Med properties? Well, I think I just mentioned the, the, the indoor mm -hmm. experience and the fact that we wanted uh, this, uh, this resort to mm -hmm. be also uh, adapted to uh, to the ski experience and the flow that uh, that we will have here. Uh, after, um, we are very proud uh, to be offering for the very first time uh, all season experience. Mm -hmm. So Clomet Quebec Charlevoix will be actually open year round. We will operate it for more than 300 year, uh, days uh, per year. Uh, so we will have a very distinctive experience depending on the seasons. Uh, in the winter, we have the ski. In the summer, we'll have hiking and mountain biking. Uh, we will be also open for the fall, which mm -hmm. is just beautiful. Uh, I imagine, yes. Yeah, <laughs> the fall foliage and yes. the colors. It's really, Charlevoix is really well known for the beauty of it. Um, so it's actually uh, one of the first, uh, it's the first uh, climate that will be open for the four seasons. I love that. And um, yeah, it, being a Four Seasons Club, I, experiencing the beauty year round. And I know yesterday I learned a little bit about the excursions uh, guests can take going to Quebec or dog sledding. Do you have any favorites that you want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> well, the dog sledding is actually uh, something very, uh, very unique <laughs> and, uh, and, and very popular as well. Uh, but yeah, if I, if I could recommend an excursion, it would be definitely to go and visit Quebec City, mm -hmm. uh, either a pre post stay or during your, your visit here we can organize a tour of the Quebec City which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site uh, with a very walkable area very uh, uh, there's a lot of history in, uh, in Quebec City and it's uh, and you can enjoy the warm atmosphere of it uh, so uh, so I would definitely recommend to stop at Quebec mm. okay so there's so much to do outside there's so much to do off property, but yeah. the property is is so stunning. It's it's so beautiful on its own, and it just feels so new. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the features of the resort, the accommodations, the dining rooms, the the ski in ski out properties? I know you talked to us about the yoga and wellness already, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. anything you know um, you think agents uh, should know about the accommodations and and everything else? <laughs> yeah, well, actually, about the accommodation, uh, we have uh, uh, as I mentioned before we have this know-how and this experience in the mountain resorts so we know how to build uh, accommodation which are we really try to find the right balance between functionality and uh, design uh, so we know that for mountain and for skiers storage is important mm -hmm. the functionality of the room is very important but on the other hand we also want them to to feel they have a very uh, uh, to, to really be in a room where, where there is a storytelling uh, we talked about the, the cultural aspects uh, but for us design is very important uh, to have uh, our clients feel they are in a destination mm -hmm. so it, it begins by the rooms themselves like we don't want to have a too standardized uh, offer uh, 
uh, and, and experience. Uh, we really work uh, with a local architect and mm -hmm. interior design to have some local touches in the design of our rooms. Uh, the second thing I can tell you about the rooms um, and for a travel advisor, which are very important, is that we have a very large array of categories and uh, we have a family rooms. Mm -hmm. We are really well known for building a family friendly accommodation with kids' rooms. Uh, they also have uh, in some of the category their own bathrooms, kids' room, which is separated, uh, and, the, and the master uh, parents' That's room. Great. So it's really uh, catering to a multiple array of clientele. And we are also have the luxury section, exclusive collection space, uh, which is uh, our uh, top level uh, category uh, with extra services, with a dedicated lounge, with concierge service, with room service. Uh, and uh, they are located at the upper level of the of the resort so they have the best view so we have 25 suites exclusive collection suites couples and family suites which are available to our clientele I love that I toured one yesterday it was stunning and the view is even better so <laughs> um, that's great and I, I love the uh, the real local touches here you know the colors the the smells even mm. it, you really feel like you're in Quebec which is so important um, so my next question, I know that Club Med caters to travelers of all demographics, so families, singles, couples. Um, where would you say Club Med Quebec kind of fits into that? Who would you recommend Club Med Quebec for? Well, uh, our model is that we really multi, multi target. Uh, so uh, being a couple, a family or even a group, uh, you will find the best experience in our resorts. But uh, maybe something which is a little bit well less well-known uh, that I could maybe uh, mention is that uh, here in Quebec, Clomet Quebec Charlevoix, uh, we aim to uh, attract a lot of groups clientele. Mm -hmm. So we have actually uh, a lot of uh, groups which are affinity groups or uh, mice groups uh, mm -hmm. you know so for meetings convention etc we do have a facility we have a facility here uh, where you can organize a conference uh, we have a dedicated service for meeting and events by Club Med uh, so I would definitely recommend also that property uh, and to think about uh, to entice travel advisor to think about it mm -hmm. uh, to think about groups because we have a great offer for them I love that. And yes, that's good to know for, for all the agents watching. Um, speaking to agents for a moment and travel advisors, how would you personally uh, sell the resort if you were in a travel advisor shoes? Give us a few of your insider tips. Sure. Uh, well, the first thing that I would uh, that I would mention is that actually uh, Clomed offered them the uh, opportunity to sell ski with confidence and mm -hmm. to not to be afraid to sell ski because it's very easy. We make it so easy. It's almost like selling a ski cruise, you know, like uh, the only thing they have to do is to bring their clients and we take care of everything else. Mm -hmm. uh, because of our all-inclusive model and we package the ski lift, the ski lessons, uh, everything is seamless. We even have that program, which is uh, called Easy Arrival. So before we arrive, we can uh, register your ski, your, your ski equipment and the shoe size and everything. And we prepare for, for our clients, we prepare in their ski locker. So when they arrive, in 10 minutes, they can go skiing. Uh, it's ski in, ski out, so it's very easy. Everything is ready for them. So I would definitely recommend a uh, travel advisor to not to be afraid to sell ski and to actually think about it. Mm -hmm. uh, and even for ski or for non-skiers, as I told you, huh, we have a great array of activities for non-skiers yes. as well. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm trying out those non-skiing activities this week and I'm having a blast. And you really still feel like you're part of the nature. You still you feel like you're being active um, and it, it is a very worthwhile vacation, um, whether you ski or whether whether you're like me and a, a non skier <laughs> at a ski resort. <laughs> Um, so lastly, there is some exciting news coming from uh, Club Med, and I want to give you uh, kind of the honor to, to tell us a little bit about it. <laughs> sure. Well, uh, we are very excited about uh, the announcement that was made yesterday, uh, which is that we are uh, coming back to the U.S. with a ski resort, which will open in December 2024 in Utah. Uh, it will be located 35 miles from uh, Salt Lake City in Snow Basin area, ski area. Uh, and it will be actually a fully exclusive collection resort. So it's really the, the top level mm -hmm. of, uh, of our uh, luxury range. Um, it will be a family resort. 
uh, as well with uh, also a multi-target approach. Uh, couples, families and groups will have uh, the best experience there. Um, and yeah, we are very excited uh, to open uh, this, uh, this, this project. So more to come. We're wow. going to disclose a lot of details. Super exciting. Yeah, so we, we have to keep Club Med on our radars because there's so much excitement coming from Canada, from the US, from all around the world um, with, the, with this uh, really comprehensive brand. And I'm, I'm personally excited to, uh, to get back out there, maybe, you know, try my hand at the slope. So thank you or merci. <laughs> thank you so much for, for your time and for telling us a little bit about Club Med Quebec. And I'm excited for, for everyone to experience um, this, this real oasis uh, in Quebec, outside Quebec City.